What's up everybody, Chris Reed Beats here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite instruments to use inside of Reason. First off, let's start by recording this electric guitar. All right, so right now we're gonna add in a re-drum or red rum, however you pronounce it, let me know in the comments. But we're actually gonna be using the Mimic first. Mimic is one of my favorite samplers to use. Of course, you have the time stretching capabilities, but I just like to use it as a sampler for one shots in general. All right, so right now we're gonna lay down a pattern for our kick drum using the re-drum sequencer. I just love this re-drum instrument because it has that built-in sequencer. Of course, Reason has other players that you can use, but I like using the re-drums built-in sequencer to get me going when I'm looking to start my drum patterns. Alright, so this is not an instrument, but it is my favorite player to use, which is the Polystep Sequencer. It is just super multifaceted. You can build chords, chord progression, melodies, and you can do dope stuff with hi-hats like this. Of course, you can take advantage of the variation wheel and when you're done building your pattern, you can hit send to track or direct record. All right, so here's another one of those reasons why I like using Mimic for one shots. Look how I'm gonna apply this low cut to the EQ very quickly and I'm able to trim off some of the transients so I get a shorter sample. I love using the Mimic for that. It has everything built in one EQ effects as well as sample manipulation is awesome. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm layering up with a snare, but if you're liking what you're hearing so far and you're enjoying the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, drop a comment below what your favorite instruments, players, and effects are. All right, so here's a technique I like to do when I'm layering my claps or snares. I like to nudge the clap a little earlier. That way it comes through a little more crisp and you get the layer effect that you're looking for with the rim, snare, and clap. All right, so right here, the guitar and 808 are doing this dun dun sound that I'm really gonna like. So I'm gonna layer that with my kick and also I'm gonna add in a timpani just to give it a nice little element flair. <laughs> All 
right, so I like that timpani, but I want it to be a little deeper. So I'm going to use the NNXT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the zones. I'm going to shift those zones down lower in the keyboard. And then I'm going to drop them down an octave. And this is one of the reasons why I like the NNXT as a sampler, because you have multiple zones that you can work with and you can really manipulate the samples and get the sound that you're looking for.